Welcome back to Spotlight Growth Live. I'm Leah. Triton Funds is one of the largest independent student-run investment funds in the United States, with around $25 million in assets under management. The La Jolla, California-based fund was launched by three undergrad students that wanted to create an investment fund with a millennial touch. Joining us today is Triton Funds co-founder and portfolio manager, Sam Yaffa, and financial analyst, Dmitry Slabotsky. Thank you both for coming on to the show. Yeah, thank you for having us today. Thank you so much. Triton seems to have a pretty exciting story. Do you mind sharing a little bit of background on Triton, the fund's focus, and how it all works? Yeah, definitely. So Triton Funds is the largest independent student-run fund in the nation. We are a $25 million fund, and we're a little bit of an anomaly. We started off as a dorm room idea in the summer of 2017. Basically, I go to Cal State University, Northridge, as well as Dimitri, where uh, high finance opportunities out of college are not very thin. For example, Goldman Sachs is a knocking on our door. And my other co-founders, Yasha and Nathan, they go to UC San Diego that doesn't even have a business school. So to get into your high finance positions of venture capital, private equity, investment banking, it's very difficult. So we figured in the summer of 2017, let's reach out to alumni, mentors, local investors, and let's try to make a fund happen of our own. So what had happened is we got some backers. They said the paper trade the fund, and that's what we did through the end of 2017. Headed into spring 2018, we had phenomenal returns on our back, on our uh, um, paper trade, and they backed us with real capital, our our supporters. So we officially launched April 1st of 2018. Ever since, we've done 15 publicly disclosed investments. Uh, two of those investments were in uh, private companies, and we actively seek to, uh, you know, make venture type investments in different companies. Microcap stocks have experienced a nice rebound across the board in January. Do you see this strength continuing throughout the rest of 2019? Right, so microcap stocks historically are always very volatile. And what's really, from our perspective, is going to keep microcap stocks where they are is their fundamentals. And we definitely think that this is a year for investors to be more conservative and safer with their money. So. There's not going to be uh, so much of that extreme volatility, but I think there's for the companies that you know report real revenues and have uh, a working business models, and whether it be acquisitions or whatever it might be, we think that those companies are going to have you know better returns. And it just in a historical sense, if you look at it, and I hope my econ professors watching me today, but from a high level uh, macroeconomic perspective, you look at for instance, the Carhartt four-factor model or the Pharma French three-factor model, and those both include small minus big, meaning small cap stocks minus large cap stocks, and you add that to the formula, that just in general shows that small cap returns are always going to be greater than large cap returns. So uh, expect actually a decrease in volatility and be more careful with sort of that stock picking in the micro cap markets. What are your views on cannabis stocks in general? Is there any particular part of the cannabis market that you find particularly interesting? Right, so uh, currently the cannabis market's kind of spread out. You have your CBDs, you have uh, flowers and grows, uh, things like that. Uh, for myself personally, I like to look at the whole industry as a whole. You know, you can't really pick out one specific area and say that's my favorite one because every single area has its own strength in its own way. But um, I find the most interesting part about the sector is that um, last year we kind of saw the end of the phase one where legalization is kind of stopping and now we're kind of coming to the point where all the public companies uh, that are here right now, we're going to see them start making that revenue and the ones that are making that impact on the millennial generation and everyone around us are the ones going to be that sticking around for the long term. Triton Funds is also active in allocating capital to private companies. Can you talk about Triton's venture capital projects? Yeah, definitely. So we're very proud of our venture portfolio. And it's very funny how it works, but I'll just tell you who our venture uh, portfolio is. So uh, kind of the cream of the crop is Lime Bike. So we're investors 
in uh, Lime Series C Unicorn Financing Round. We co-invested with Uber, Google Ventures, and Fifth Wall Ventures, and uh, you know to see Lime Bike really deployed throughout the world and their impact uh, on the ride-sharing space has just been phenomenal. So we're very excited to see what Lime has in store, whether it be an IPO in the future or if Uber or Google will acquire them, we'll just have to wait and see. And in our second venture company is a, a airport food delivery service called At Your Gate. And they have been uh, instilled in several airports throughout the nation. And we're very excited about them because they're like the postmates of being at an airport. Imagine you're sitting at your terminal in JFK, for example, and you have a flight. And you know whether you're doing work on your laptop or your frequent flyer, it's so convenient just to go on your phone and say, "Okay, Panda Express is one mile away from me. Let me go ahead and uh, you know order it on my iPhone app," and they bring it straight to your terminal. So we're very excited to see where Lime and At Your Gate are headed, and. Uh, see you know for 2019 i think it's gonna be a big year for both companies thank you both very much for your time again it was a pleasure to speak with you yeah definitely thank you so much for having us and make sure to follow us on our social medias and that's yeah. at trident funds on twitter at Facebook, trident funds. instagram everything thank you so much Thank you for watching Spotlight Growth Live. Be sure to visit us at spotlightgrowth.com and follow us on social media.